Function Line has built blockchain attached storage, affectionately referred to as the box. But what is a box? Like, what does it look like? What's, what's it made up of? So basically, it 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 it, it has several components. Mm -hmm. The first one is base, which uh, which which the users can can put other towers on top of the base, okay. and then there is the grid, which is upgradable, and it it, it the, the users can upgrade each year to to new USB standards. Mm -hmm. Then there are multiple towers that the users have the option to purchase, so they can purchase storage towers, CPU towers, and later down the road, when we build our partnerships they can extend it to GPU and router towers. So one of the aspects in the design of Box was for it to be timeless. So we wanted it to function for many and many years to come. Mm -hmm. We didn't want you to uh, get rid of your current, current Box and buy a new one. It's the longevity is, is a very important design mm -hmm. agenda that we had with Box. So it, it's completely modular. That's, that's, that enables, us, enables it to be uh, long living. Right. It consists of a base and then continues to a grid, which is the connection between your towers. Mm -hmm. The cool thing about the grid is that you can upgrade it with the latest technology. So this year is Thunderbolt 4, next year it can be Thunderbolt 5. And then the individual towers and the, the connection of towers and the grid is all USB-C, so it's standardized. Mm -hmm. I see. So from the user's experience, can you explain to us how does it look when they purchase a the box? So. The user journey is very interesting. You will receive your box in the mail and then you come and unbox your box. <laughs> and then from there, you open the box app in your phone and connect it to the internet as you would any IoT device. So it's going to be a setup very similar to setting up an Apple TV or a vacuum robot. And from there, the user experience continues on your mobile device. So you have all the apps that you normally use for, for your day to day life. Box would be the server for those apps. It, it stays there at your home. It's it's the, the blockchain aspect, the uh, the protocol aspect. All of those would be invisible from your eyes. It's wow. all set up for your convenience. You you would use your apps as you would on your phone every day. Now, in Kickstarter, what options user have to purchase? Okay, so I encourage you to check out the. Kickstarter webpage, I have to see what the options are. But we're, we're trying to make sure that there are no barriers to entry. So we have everything from just one tower to one tower with the base, or the base with multiple towers. And then if you um, have the opportunity to buy even a full loaded one of nine towers, you can do that as well. But the very exciting thing is that there's also a developer kit. So our hardware team has put together all these different components. So for a lot lower an entry price point, you can get in, buy a dev kit and start building tomorrow. So Essan, my data is on someone else's box. How can I be sure that it's secure? Well, the technology that we are using is actually the latest that we have right now and it's being used on blockchains such as Ethereum. So if someone can hack this technology and get it into your box, that would be the least worry that the world have at that point. Because all the bank transactions and everything <laughs> is, is, is broken. And it's, it's impossible mathematically, right? Because you need the compute power. If, if you had every atom in, a, in, in the universe be a computer, it will take it still many light years to complete. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You're telling me this box is also a mi some sort of miner. So I understand I have it plugged in 24 seven. It's mining token. Um, just tell me a little bit, little bit more about that. Um, yeah, when, when people speak of mining, uh, some some think of Bitcoin, mm -hmm. but the mining behind this ecosystem is not to to make you rich in one right. night. Yes, it's just to make a sustainable ecosystem. Right. It actually it, it saves you money by not you know, like uh, but 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 you not not uh, like having to pay cloud services. Like mm -hmm. so you can use this uh, this this ecosystem for free forever. So that's saving money. Yeah. Uh, but, but that's the, the actually the concept of behind the tokens. I see. So here's your experience. You buy a box, you go and cancel all your subscriptions. Yes! You go cancel your Netflix subscription, your Google Drive subscription, everything that you're paying is going to be owned by you from there on. That's the user experience that we're going with the Box ecosystem and full on Apple. Hold on. I mean, I'm ready to cancel Dropbox. I'm ready to cancel subscription storage. I'm not canceling Netflix. How are you going to be a part of streaming entertainment? Like there'll be a, a DAP one day where... So generally the big tech is 
evolved to becoming the middleman of distribution of the digital goods. Mm -hmm. So what Netflix does is it contracts independent filmmakers and then buy the IP rights from them and then distributes it and makes a lot of money. Mm. What Box does is that it cuts the middleman. Those independent filmmakers can directly put it for people to download because it's, it's a, an open network. And then they will share, they will get the revenue that they get from the downloads, which is much more than they earn together. Oh, I see. Well, I'm no uh, Netflix of my own or anything, but if I had some IP, some music, you know, would, as an artist, would I wait, maybe want to store this IP on the box? Well, you would want to store it on the box and you, you would get the full uh, security of your data not being ever breached. Mm -hmm. But you can also, if, if, if you're a, a digital creator, you can also share it with the world. And this time the network incentivizes you. It's mm -hmm. not piracy, it's sharing that's tokenized, hence you're making money ah. by people just downloading your work. I see. So this question is interesting. Does our box kill the planet? Okay, Kayvon, an important question because we get this all the time. You know, there's a few components here. Number one, if we're all storing our own files on a small appliance in our own home that use a little, little bit of electricity, instead of massive duplication to huge server farms, we already there are helping the planet. You know, when it comes to the blockchain, although um, there's a lot of negative connotation with that around Bitcoin, we're using tokenomics simply as an incentivization layer and have very, um, low re like low resource intensive um, transactions occurring around this proof of resource um, and so there aren't these massive computational needs that people may think are going on.